everyone. I'm Denitza Garcia, and I'm actually in one of my favorite places in Tijuana, Top El Green, with someone that is very special who is going to tell us about the real story about the clamato, when it was invented, and I mean, we really would like to know what happened at that time, okay? Because we have different theories about it. It's a pleasure for me to present Mr. Hector Cabande. Thank you for being with oh, us here pleasure. in the Baja Window to the South. My <laughs> pleasure, thank you for the invitation. And um, well, please tell us the real story about El Clamato, where it was invented and how it was prepared. Okay, uh, the Clamato, uh, it was invented in 1967 mm -hmm. at Hotel Lucerna in Mexicali at Bar Aqueducto, Aqueduct Bar. Okay. Uh, it was a midday uh, after a long uh, night of uh, a group of friends uh, led it by my dad, uh, Mr. Jose Cabande de Blue. Uh, and they were all hanged over. <laughs> and uh, we happened to uh, serve a bologna in the bar in the restaurant mm -hmm. because it was it was a big thing at that time mm -hmm. it was accessible in cost it was delicious and americans you know and chinese people in the in the area of mexicali you know they they, they love uh having it and eating it and sharing it mm -hmm. so uh what 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 they did is instead of ma making the traditional bloody mary they did everything as a Bloody Mary, tomato juice, uh, Worcestershire sauce, Tabasco, lemon, salt, and ground black pepper, not white pepper, ground black pepper. Okay. And what they added was the juice from the abalone. Abalone. What we did is we, the, the abalone, uh, well, today it comes in cans. Mm -hmm. Today it also did, but you could buy it raw. Mm -hmm. And what we would do is we would boil, boil the abalone uh -huh. and get the extra extract of the juice mm -hmm. and then chill it and make it part integrated into the tomato juice. Okay. okay? So the, and that's where the, where the clamato com, comes out. And uh, you know, the name clamato actually uh, was not invented by it by my dad. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, I, I bet. <laughs> uh, Clamato is a company by Mott's, mm -hmm. and they, they came out, uh, out into the market in 1969, mm -hmm. which is two years later than it was invented. Mm -hmm. The fact of the matter is that, you know, with so much shortage of abalone mm -hmm. and the cost getting so expensive, it was, it was mostly, and it still is, export, exported to Japan and China. Yes. Uh, we decided to substitute uh, the uh, abalone juice with clam juice. Not clams, but the, just the juice mm -hmm. of the clams. And then eventually we migrated mm -hmm. to using the clamato juice, mm -hmm. you know, with the addition of the clam juice. Oh, and all yeah. the other ingredients that constitute a basic Bloody Mary. It's called clamato, but it wasn't, you know, called no, at that no. time. No, no, it, it was like it, it was a Bloody Mary with 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 uh, with abalone juice. But you know, at that time, uh, you know, I have to tell you very honestly. <laughs> I mean, we were the only ones serving that drink. Yes. It was actually uh, prepared in this glass from okay. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's sort of an old-fashioned style kind of glass, but this has been the same glass we've used since 1967 to serve our clamatos in order to Lucerna hotels and our private restaurants. Uh, and, and also you keep it that way until today. We you keep know? it that way. We, you know, we don't, we don't add clams. Uh, we don't add any other type of chili in the ring. <laughs> okay. It's only salt. <laughs> it's lightly salted. Everything's done very, very uh, uh, s subtle, mm -hmm. you know, so you can always have a choice to add. If you don't want to, if you want to add more lemon, or you want to add more hot sauce or whatever, you know, that's the way we cook too. And that's the way we prepare drinks. We give you the space to decide if you want to add up more or whatever spice. 
Okay, yeah. that's great. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I mean, I mean, while you're talking, you know, I'm imagining this <laughs> this whole process of of the of the clamato of the drink, and also very important to say that that was added. I mean, after you know, because it was abalone, but the juice. Okay, and then they use the clam the clam juice, juice and after well probably well, well when clamato came out and we were able to buy it. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, it was only sold in the U.S. Mm -hmm. We were able to buy it and bring it across the border. Then we substituted the tomato juice and, and the abalone for the tomato juice and the clam juice. And then the clamato juice plus clam juice, but not clams. But not clams. Not exactly. that I don't like it with clams, but it's just... Is the original original recipe? Uh huh. Exactly. It's not the original yeah, recipe yeah. because I mean most of the I mean places yeah. or restaurants they they, they yeah. add clams yeah. you know directly yeah. not the juice. Yeah. So that's 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 very important yeah. to say. Wow. I you, mean, you know everything uh, in, in 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 food and beverage mm -hmm. everything has an origin. Yeah. And you know with time it tends to be innovated. Mm -hmm. and, and and I like that you know but I also I also like to know. Uh, where was the uh, perfect martini invented, you know? Exactly. And it was at the American Bar at the Savoy Hotel in London, you know? <laughs> and they had their own recipe and, and, and they keep doing it, you mm -hmm. know, for over 100 years. Mm -hmm. So other types of martinis are very exquisite and successful, but there's only one. Exactly. And that's the bar, you know? It's the same thing with the Clamato, you know? So here we are. We're going to prepare the Clamato the original way. So. Now, okay, this, this, this is how it all started. Same glass, okay? You slide, mm -hmm. you know, the lemon wedge on the okay. rim. Mm -hmm. You lightly salt it, you know, very lightly. Lightly salt it, uh-huh. It's not like a margarita, it's much lighter. Okay. All, all these ingredients already contain a lot of sodium already. Okay. Okay. And the first thing that we do is we squeeze the lemon juice, okay. and we leave, we leave it in. Oh, okay. We don't use uh, juice that it's been... Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, already squeezed. Uh, squeeze or, yes, at that, yeah. you know, it's mm -hmm. freshly squeezed. Then we add, the, we add the ice. Okay. After this, uh, we add uh, Worcestershire sauce, about this amount. Okay. A few drops of Tabasco. Excellent. Ground black pepper. Mm -hmm. If you wish or not, mm -hmm. a, a lot of people like salt. Okay. I personally don't, mm -hmm. but I will do it because it's your original recipe. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we add a bit of salt. salt. Okay. And then uh, we add, you know, the vodka of your preference. In mm -hmm. this case, we're using kettle one. So we add the vodka. We add a regular tomato juice because at that time clamato did not exist. Okay. <laughs> so we use the tomato juice. The original. Uh -huh. And then at the end we use the abalone oh, juice. Mm -hmm. With the you know, celery, yes. Uh, I, I made a little a little bit of a mess here. Oh well. You know, it's pretty it. much you know it's pretty much like a bloody Caesar. Uh -huh. You know, if you want to know the truth, mm -hmm. but just abalone makes a whole difference. Okay. You know? And then from abalone, we migrate to, uh, you know, to what I've already explained. Yes. Okay? No, most definitely. And I haven't tried a uh, clamato uh, in my life with abalone. So okay. that will be, let me see, to have the honor. Salud. Salud. <laughs> delicious let me tell you wow what a difference with the abalone as well that touch well there you go now we got to try the original clamato everyone thank you for joining us thank you so much you're very welcome thank, thank you, you very this, much this was Pleasure. baja window to the south <laughs>